This week on The Wire. Aussies expect prices to rise, luxury cars follow houses, and first home buyer approvals hit 10 year high. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and I'm Australia's leading financial educator. Welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, and investment. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along, and don't forget to subscribe or follow wherever you're seeing this video. Now our top story this week, Aussies expect prices to rise. So Australians expect house prices to rise and believe this is a good time to buy homes. House price expectations have risen 46% in the four months since May, and this is what a new study has found. The latest Westpac Melbourne Institute Index of Consumer Sentiment shows continued improvement in consumers' house price expectations. The National Survey, conducted in the first week of September, shows an increase from August in consumers' house price expectations, which contributes to an overall 46% increase in the past four months. Now, all major cities recorded a bounce in price expectations, and the data also shows that home buying sentiment is 19% higher than a year ago and sits near a five-year high. Now this also comes off the back of new predictions by economists at UBS. Now UBS generally have a negative stance on real estate, but they've lifted their price expectations for housing markets, having previously forecasted a muted recovery with three to 5% price growth. Their new projections suggest a 10% increase by next year. The revision was partly due to lending growth in July, so the ABS figures show that investor lending grew to $4.6 billion, which is the fastest pace since September 2016, while owner-occupier loans rose to $13.25 billion. We expect home loans to lift 15-20% to year on year over the next year, underpinning stronger house price growth of 5-10%, to UBS economist George Tharani says. However, Tharani says the growth in prices could pose a change in the outlook for the official cash rate, which is expected to fall further by next month. Tharani says the Reserve Bank is likely to reduce the official interest rate, but tighten credit rules at the same time to prevent another house price boom. So moving on to our next story. Luxury cars follow houses. So luxury car sales have risen for the second month in a row, matching the big recovery, or the recovery in the big city housing markets, and continuing a long-standing correlation between the two indicators. Overall, luxury car sales in the year to August were up following a rise in the year to July, and that is the first month that has risen in two years. The two monthly increases mirror outcomes with prices in Melbourne and Sydney, which recorded price growth in July and August following almost two years of falls. Historically, it's been a very good relationship, says Comsec Chief Economist Craig James. Sometimes it leads house prices, sometimes it lags them. When luxury vehicle sales are in retreat, you can bet that home prices are far behind. That has been the case since the early 1990s, and I think the car sales data means we have probably hit the bottom now in terms of the economy. I don't think we'll see another boom in house prices, but with the election uncertainty over and the interest rate and tax cuts, I think the worst is behind us. So now moving on to our final story for the week. So first home buyer approvals hit a 10 year high. The value of home loans approved for first home buyers increased by 21% in July, according to analysis of the latest ABS data. CoreLogic research analyst Cameron Cusher says the value of housing finance for owner-occupied first home buyers totaled 3.7 billion, the highest monthly value since November 2009. On a state-by-state -state basis, the ACT recorded the sharpest month-on-month -month increase in first home buyer loan commitments in July, followed by New South Wales, the Northern Territory, Western Australia, Queensland, and Victoria. The spike in first home buyer loan approvals coincided with an increase in the total value of lending for non-first home buyer owner occupiers and investors. Overall, the value of mortgages approved in July rose by 5.1%, the largest monthly increase since March 2015. Cusher says the improvement in housing finance commitments has mirrored the jump in auction clearance rates, which have been trending above 70% over the past few months in capital cities. So pretty much that's it from me guys. Now remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Now stay tuned early next week for our Just Ask Tim videos and if you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there is a link to post to do that. Now have a great weekend guys and finally remember there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. Action. See you later guys.